So there's a massive update that is coming on April 3rd. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's gonna be coming, what everybody can expect or hope to expect. And then I'm gonna show you guys a huge mistake that Warzone made and what they have done. I think, I truly believe they made the best decision. They made a good decision by something that they posted. Very, very smart on their part. We're gonna go ahead and break it all down. So sound off in the comment section. They've been releasing little patches here and there. And I'm very curious. Uh, it Again, it seems like some people who were running the game well after these last couple little patches, it's now not running well. People are saying their devices are getting hotter. It's just, just this constant push and pull, a lot of tension. But I do feel like the majority, I know a lot of people have left the game, they're, they're saying they're never gonna be back, but I'm gonna tell you right now, April 3rd is going to be probably the most important day for war. I mean, it's, it's great, we've been talking, it, it's like we're talking as if this game has been out for like two or three years or something. It's been out for a couple years. We're talking about uh, the global launch, uh, but it's going to be so crucial that they get this April 3rd update right. I mean, what, what, what they truly need, they need to start getting some good publicity, some good publicity, honest publicity where people are like, wow, this has actually made a difference. And we're not just talking about from, you know, the, the high-end devices that cost as much as a PC where you'd be able to play the actual PC version of the game. April 3rd is gonna be very, very, very important for Warzone Mobile. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming in this update. All right, so after we break this all down, I'm gonna show you guys the mistake that they made and what Warzone did to, that was definitely the best decision they could have done. So anyway, update notes, March, 20, March 27th is when they released this. This is in reference to what's coming on April 3rd. Again, it only says Android players, and I know all of you iOS players that are also suffering dearly. I hope that this is also going to address some of the iOS issues, okay? So it says enhanced and improved uh, graphical streaming. Graphics will pre-fetch and load faster. Another mistake that they made, there's many, there's many, but another mistake that they made is in other games like Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile and some other battle royales, when you load into the game, you can kind of pick and choose. And, and this usually would depend on your device, right? If you have a high-end device, you can go ahead and download everything from maps to skins, uh, you know, to, to certain events and everything else. In Warzone Mobile, that's not the case. When you download the game, you basically just, you download everything. Uh, that includes graphics, uh enhanced audio downloads and i think that's why certain developers for example like tencent were able to capture such a wide market because they not only pandered to low-end devices but if you have a better device you the the treat that you get is you can go ahead and just download everything but if you didn't have a high-end device you can kind of pick and choose what you play what you want to do you can actually download you know, there's there's seven maps in the game in PUBG Mobile. You can go in and download each individual map. In Warzone, you download everything all at once. And that's why these devices are overheating and that's why they're exploding because they don't have that feature. To me, they would have to kind of just revamp the entire interface and make that an option, you know, where you can actually download uh, or, or actually have smooth graphics. How will the IW9 run smooth graphics? Because again, yet again, it, we find ourselves comparing. In other games, you smooth graphics, which would be the lowest graphics setting, still looks good. It doesn't like it doesn't look terrible. Mo I mean, pretty much everybody that I know plays on smooth. They usually play on smooth and extreme, which will give you around 60 to 90 FPS. And you can not only see the enemies better, you can remove shadows. They don't have that feature in the game. I think that's where they're losing a lot of a lot of their player base, uh, especially on the mid and low tier device range. So we'll see what's going to happen with that. Uh, performance says several new fixes with improvements. It's very vague, but several new fixes with improvements to FPS and stability across multiple devices. I, I feel like they wrote this just to 
when they talk about multiple devices, we already know the upper end devices, the majority of them can run the game decent, not the best, but decent still needs to be heavily optimized. But that multiple devices seems like that's just more or less kind of catering or pandering to in hopes that April 3rd will make it more playable and more enjoyable for a, a wider range of devices. So this is the mistake that they made right here. And I feel really bad for, I don't know if it's the community manager, the PR man, whoever it is, but whoever wrote this definitely probably got a write up. So this person, Sammy Slayers is saying, are you going to address the overheating issue? Again, nothing about overheating uh, in this in this update that's coming April 3rd. Are you going to just overheating issue? It's not just old phones. It's new phones too. I'm iPhone 13 and I can barely play two to three games without my phone getting super hot. Seriously can't get good for the, or seriously can't be good for the phone. Hopefully we'll be able to lower the graphics, which I already addressed. And that's another thing is when the phones get too hot, that can really damage the lifespan of your battery. It's just, it's not a good look, man. This is where they got flamed. They actually got ratioed. Uh, try 30 FPS and let us know if that helps, exclamation point. This is where Boom came in and ratioed, uh, ratioed them. So this, this, <laughs> this tweet got 84 likes. Boom came in and wrote ratio and it got 274. And then the comments, again, just completely flamed. Uh, delete this, <laughs> delete this, please. I, is it a joke? Please tell me it's a joke. Uh, you did not just tell someone to try 30 FPS with a straight face. You guys get the idea. And again, I mentioned this in, I've made so many, I mentioned this in a couple of videos ago. People, people playing this game are not like first time, like mobile gamers. The vast majority of people playing Warzone Mobile are coming from other games. They're coming from, uh, well, they're coming from New State. They're coming from PUBG Mobile. The majority, I would definitely say, is coming from Call of Duty Mobile. These are people that have been playing on 60 FPS. Some, like on a high-end device, I've been playing on 90 FPS. 90 FPS is available a lot of these games. And, I mean, PUBG Mobile just, their, their next update, they're going to have 120 FPS available for some high-end devices. And the fact that they went in, like, what were they thinking? Again, people are coming from other games. Everyone's going to compare. People do not want a downgrade in 2024. And that's what so many people are feeling with this game is everyone's saying that that can play it, that it is fun. The I mean, the actual game is very, very fun. It's engaging. There's a lot of real players, not that many bots. But it's it's not in it's past that it's just not enjoyable because the experience itself is so freaking miserable and then you're going to go in and tell people to run 30 f no one wants to play in 2024 especially on a mid or high end device on 30 fps so this however this is what warzone did i give them a lot of credit for it uh, let's go ahead and check it out. This was the best decision that Warzone Mobile could have ever made. Is actually where it's almost where you kind of embrace. Like if people are making fun of you about something, in order to fight back, you embrace whatever that thing is that someone is kind of you know clowning you on, uh, just to kind of throw it back at them, right? So. Here's what they said. They said, we've seen the memes and their fire. Best decision ever is just to own it, to own the mistake, own what you did, grow from that and then improve. So everyone that was uh, like shilling for the game, everyone who was saying everything's fine. I don't know what you're talking about. The game is spectacular. This right here just kind of dunks. And it says, we've seen the memes in their fire. Of course, they're referencing how hot the phones are getting. Just embrace it. Look at 1.9K likes. You got almost 500 comments seen by a quarter of a million people. This tweet right here, it says, device temperature is something the team is constantly monitoring. We're always looking for ways to optimize Call of Duty Warzone Mobile to reduce strain and heat on your device. And they just kind of do this you know, little graphic that really doesn't mean anything. I mean, everyone reading this would already know what they would need to do to reduce uh, performance issues or to reduce overheating. 
like they're talking about lowering FPS, but the issue is people are locked into their graphics. They don't have a smooth option. And if you do have the option on your device to run it uh, at low graphics, it looks like cardboard. It just doesn't look good. Where these other games that were released in 2018 or uh, 2019, they have smooth graphics that actually look good, even without shadows. They've been able to optimize their game. So again, if you've made this far into the video, I'm curious to know what your expectations are for April 3rd. Are you done with the game? Are you still gonna be giving it a chance? Uh, it's, it's, still, it's, still, it's still running rough, but we got a couple days to go to get uh, to see what, what this update's gonna bring. I'm very curious what's gonna happen. It's gonna be nuts either way. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.